A Class C championship is on the line in Suffolk County, Southfold Greenport, and the Stony Brook School next. From the athletic complex of St. Joseph's College here in Patchogue on Long Island, this is MSG Varsity's coverage of postseason high school girls soccer. Today it's the Suffolk County Class C Championship, the Southhold Greenport Clippers and the Stony Brook School Bears. For the Stony Brook School, Ryo Tejuoso, a senior, leads the defense at stopper. A couple of juniors in Dunn and Wadding and Julia Shi, the sophomore, is the sweeper. Two sophomores, Skoro Bahati and Reeve in the midfield, along with the Pius sisters, Emma Lavery, Hannah Barker up top, with Fiona Farrell, the freshman, in goal. Laid off for Pius. Pushing forward again on that right side. Pius toward net and banging it in off the post. An almost impossible angle. Emily Pius opens the scoring for the Stony Brook School. Her sixth goal dropped off by Hannah Barker, and Pius did the rest. May have caught Winkler in between. Unsure if it was a cross or a shot. Free kick. Babcock's ripped one to Farrell. Good deflected catch by the freshman. Van Borgen Dean to the inside foot. All the way through for Babcock. And she is tripped up legally. Now Babcock chasing the ball, deflected and just wide. Here is Pius, got the deflection. Has a clear lane to cross. Put in low and saved. Pius playing it forward for Babcock. Space to operate. Farrell lost the handle and a deflection is in. There's a player to her right. It's Siren, the eighth grader. She's pushed this forward. Trying to hook up for the second goal. Van Borgandine, a deflection and a score. Now Van Borgandine, left footed, what a strike. Oh, mercy. Volitsky. All the way through. Here's a chase from Van Gordon, and Farrell gets her mitts on it. That's a great play by the freshman. Emily Pius will play this in. Pius lofts it. Down on the ground and swept aside by Siren. Here's she with a long distance volley. And Stony Brook with four minutes to go. Slices the deficit to one. Julia Shee, the sweeper, all the way from the back. Eight goals last year as an offensive player. She notches her first this year. And the Bears have cut the deficit. Emma Lavery trying to get this ball for Stony Brook. Simon looked to throw it out. Lavery got in their way. And that is out off of Southold Greenport for a quarter kick. This is how the last goal scored. Dogged persistence by Lavery to lead to this opportunity. Emily Pius. Line drive in the air toward the net and into the back of the goal. Unreal. We are tied with 2.03 to play. Two goals in the span of 117 seconds for the Bears. We are going to overtime in the Suffolk County Class C Championship game. Two goals in the final four minutes of regulation for the Stony Brook School erasing a 3-1 deficit. Shit. Foot. Rosemary Valinsky stopped and a blast from high up the crossbar. Look the other way. Morgan Pius to the center. Has an option. 
Emma Lavery. And Lavery's long distance shot skips wide. Off the fists of Winkler. It's almost as if somebody sliced 10 yards off of each side of the field. The volume of opportunities we are now seeing. And Borgandine to Babcock. Setting up space. Played it through and played it wide. Shoot. Here's a good pop-up from Van Gordon. Has found Babcock. Ball at her feet. Babcock to Farrell. This has got to get in the box. Down to seven. Babcock has one opportunity to play it, and Farrell makes the save. Sending us to a third overtime at St. Joseph's College. She, depending on your definition, overtimes. Next goal wins it. And Farrell again. She has made no bones about it, has played well in the overtime, has taken control of her area. She. Kicks. If somebody scores, it's over. And South Old Greenport pushing forward with Van Borgendine. And a dangerous one for Farrell. Babcock had a chance and pushes it wide. Oh, an early opportunity for the Clippers. And the angle was cut off for Babcock. And we are going to penalty kicks in the Suffolk County Class C championship game. Four overtimes and an additional 30 minutes, not enough. So now the Otis is solely on the kick takers and on the keepers. Fiona Farrell, Stony Brook's freshman, and Masha Winkler, South Old Greenport's sophomore. 3-3 three, three, and penalty kicks to crown a champion when we return. Shoot. Farrell ready on her line. Babcock's kick saved. A one kick scenario. Pius has kicked it high. And swatted away by Farrell. Wadding. Lofts it in the corner. Third kick for South Old Greenport. And she puts it home. Against Rodriguez. And slots it home to Rodriguez is right. Deathly quiet. Velinsky. Too high. And now Stony Brook has a chance to win it with its fourth kick. Would make it 3-1 after four. Which would be enough since it's best of five. Andy Scorabahati who scored the third goal, can clinch this with a successful kick. A sophomore with six goals. Score Bahati against Rodriguez to send Stony Brook to the Long Island Class C Championship and possibly complete an epic comeback. Score Bahati's got it! And the Bears are going to the Long Island Championship game in Class C. A comeback for the ages in Patchogue. Down two goals, four minutes to play. Stony Brook scores twice. Staves off opportunities in overtime from South Old Greenport and takes the win after a 3-3 score in the penalty kick shootout. Annie Scorabahati, the tying goal, the winning penalty kick, and Stony Brook is moving on to next Tuesday. One of the great comebacks that we've seen all year. The Stony Brook scored two goals in the final four minutes of regulation, and then they win it in penalty kicks 3-1 in the Suffolk County Girls Class C Championship. They beat South Old Greenport, and we are here with uh, the player that scored the tying goal and won penalty kicks, yeah. Annie Scorvahati. My gosh.
what a game for you guys. And honestly, uh, with four minutes to go, you're down two goals. Do you think that you guys are done at that point? To be honest, I was a little down because I thought we might have lost it. But I knew once Julia, she hit that goal, I, I knew we, we could come back from that because she, she's our sweeper, but she has one of the best shots on the team. So tell me about that goal, the tying goal from your perspective. Uh, it was a great corner kick, and you found yourself in the middle of the scrum. How would you get free? Um, I mean, I've done it all season. I've tried. I cut from the outside on the 18, and I've cut to the, to the outside post, and Emily Pye has just helped me every time. On the game-winning penalty kick, was that exactly what you were trying to do, put the ball right in that top corner where you hit it? Yep, that's, that was my – we practiced yesterday in doing that, and that's exactly what I wanted. Makes perfect. Annie, congratulations on the win. It was a great game. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you. Annie is our uh, goal scorer to tie the game and win in penalty kicks. Uh, go celebrate with your teammates. Get, get out of here now. 3-3 was the regulation score. Uh, just a tremendous effort by the Stony Brook School to come back and win this game late. Southfield Greenport, a terrific season. Uh, one of these games, it's cliche, but it's a shame somebody had to lose. So hard fought, such an intense game, and we're thrilled that you could join us in court. Tom Leides, our livecaster. For Tom Schnarz, our producer. For our intrepid photographer, Mr. Dominic Riccardi. I'm Kevin Brown, signing off from St. Joseph's College, where the Stony Brook School wins the Suffolk County Class C Championship. 3-3 in regulation. They win it 3-1 in penalty kicks over Southhold Greenport. This has been a presentation, MSG Varsity.